Following the addition of a third drug to prevent and treat lymphatic filariasis, a new mass drug administration strategy has been welcomed. The triple drug therapy for the subsequent elimination of lymphatic filariasis will be rolled out countrywide. Previously, the mass drug administration MDA was only rolled out in four endemic regions, namely regions 3, 4, 5, and 10. Though there are successes in these four regions, this represents an overall 44% countrywide coverage for the MDA since its implementation. This is according to Deputy Chief Medical Officer Dr. Karen Campbell. Ghana has signaled a political will to implement the use of triple therapy, IDA, where we will be using ivermectin, diethylcarbamazine, and albendazole from 2019. Two successful years of IDA coverage of over 80% is mandatory if Guyana is to be successful in the interruption of transmission by 2020. Our current use of DA, as I mentioned, will not achieve this, and therefore we don't really have much choice. We have to embrace IDA if we want to qualify. Guyana is accompanied by Haiti and are the last two countries in the Americas to actively eliminate lymphatic filariasis. Brazil and the Dominican Republic have made progress and are currently in the assessment phase. PAHO WHO representative Dr. William Aducro said that this is now the golden opportunity to build on gains to achieve the goal of elimination. MDA is a WHO recommended preventive chemotherapy strategy to stop the transmission of LF infection. MDA involves administering preventive chemotherapy to all eligible persons living in all LF endemic areas with, with the drug you know, combination. MDA reduced the density of parasites circulating in the blood of infected persons and the prevalence of infection in the community to such low levels that transmission cannot be sustained and new infections eventually cease. When the level of infection has been reduced to below target thresholds, MDA is considered no longer Required. Lymphatic filariasis, referred to in Guyana as Bigfoot, has been under the Ministry of Public Health's radar for elimination. PAHO WHO has worked aggressively with the ministry in this regard to ensure that this neglected infectious disease is no longer a public health problem. For Info Hub, Delicia Haynes.